And we have an exciting hearing today on NASA's efforts to save the world, literally. I think there's something else out there. I don't think we're the best that God can do. That line made its way across social media last week, attached to sensational claims that Congress had just been briefed on a mysterious object called 3 Eye Atlas, supposedly an alien spacecraft. Every corner of the internet lit up with the same words, Congress confirms alien probe, NASA hides interstellar craft, scientists baffled. It was dramatic, mysterious, and instantly viral. But the truth, that story, as gripping as it sounds, doesn't match the public record. So tonight we'll slow down, check what's verified, and separate the rumor from the reality. Because when the topic is something this extraordinary, only evidence matters. No member of Congress has ever confirmed, on the record or in classified leaks, that an interstellar spacecraft has been discovered. Yes, public hearings have been held about unidentified aerial phenomena in Earth's skis, but not a single one has referenced 3 Eye Atlas or any object beyond the solar system. And there's another important fact. As of today, there is no officially confirmed object called 3 Eye Atlas. The Minor Planet Center, which catalogs every comet and asteroid discovered by the world's observatories, lists only two confirmed interstellar visitors, Taumuamua in 2017, and two, I slash Borisov in 2019. If a genuine third interstellar object existed, it would appear there first, with published orbital data anyone could verify. The rumored reports of metallic propulsion or structured radio transmissions don't exist in any peer-reviewed astronomy paper. No journal, no RZIV preprint, no data released from NASA or ESA mentions them. In other words, the claims have no scientific footprint. So how did the story take off? Because the idea of another visitor from the stars feels believable, even exciting, after what we've already seen. Taumuamua's strange acceleration challenged our understanding of small-body physics. 2 I slash Borisov's chemistry was so pristine that astronomers called it a time capsule from another solar system. With the next generation of surveys, like the Vera Rubin Observatory, we expect to find many more. That real history made people ready, almost eager, to believe that the next object had already arrived. And once AI-generated images and fabricated congressional clips started circulating, the narrative was unstoppable. If a true interstellar visitor were discovered tomorrow, the process would be transparent. It would begin with a small point of light moving faster than the background stars, spotted by survey telescopes such as ATLAS, PANSTARRS, or Zwicky Transient Facility. Teams around the world would immediately start measuring its position. If those measurements proved it was not gravitationally bound to the Sun, the Minor Planet Center would issue a public alert within hours. Next would come the follow-up campaign. Optical telescopes measuring its brightness and rotation, infrared observatories like JWST analyzing its chemistry, and radio arrays checking for gas emissions. Every step of that process would be open and peer-reviewed, with data shared globally. Astronomy doesn't keep secrets, it thrives on replication. If an object really changed course or emitted something extraordinary, hundreds of independent teams would see it, publish it, and argue about it in public. There would be no need to rely on whispers or screenshots. So what would it take to convince the scientific community that an interstellar object was artificial. It would need measurable, repeatable behaviors that no natural process can explain. For instance, a consistent acceleration pattern unrelated to outgassing spectral lines for materials that can't form in space, radar images revealing symmetrical geometry, or radio signals showing deliberate modulation. None of those have been observed, not for Taumuamua, not for Borisov, and certainly not for the rumored 3i Atlas. 
that doesn't mean such a discovery is impossible. It just means extraordinary claims require extraordinary, open evidence. The so-called Congressional Bombshell traces back to a handful of anonymous posts claiming a lawmaker named Michael Harrison disclosed classified findings. But there is no representative or senator by that name in the current U.S. Congress. There's also no C-SPAN footage, no transcript, and no mention in the congressional record. Other versions of the story used AI-generated JWST images and mislabeled telescope data to suggest NASA had captured detailed photos of the object. But telescopes like JWST and Hubble don't take high-resolution images of small interstellar bodies. They collect spectra, faint light spread into wavelengths, to identify elements, not structures. Once you strip away the fake visuals and missing sources, the briefing story collapses. It isn't a conspiracy. It's just modern misinformation, a digital echo of our collective desire for wonder. Even without alien technology, the universe gives us plenty of mysteries. Interstellar comets can contain exotic ices that never form here. Their dust can scatter light in ways that make them appear metallic. Outgassing jets can nudge their orbits and make them look like they're steering. Rotation can make them pulse like a beacon when it's really just sunlight flickering across rough terrain. These natural explanations don't make the cosmos less interesting. They make it more creative. Nature is the best engineer we know. A few scientists, including researchers at Harvard, have suggested that Taumuamua's motion might resemble a light sail or some other thin, engineered object. That idea isn't pseudoscience. It's a hypothesis meant to be tested. If future data showed a new object dimming or brightening in a way that consistently aligned with observation angles, it would deserve serious scrutiny. But to claim that an object is actively avoiding telescopes, you'd need years of consistent evidence across multiple instruments, proof that it reacts to observation rather than geometry. So far, no such evidence exists. The avoidance narrative is speculative, not empirical. If an actual 3 i object entered our solar system, you'd know about it almost immediately. Within hours, observatories across the globe would post coordinates. Within days, JWST, the very large telescope Keck and Gemini would all turn their mirrors toward it. Within weeks, data would appear on RZIV for anyone to analyze. In today's scientific ecosystem, secrecy on that scale is impossible. There are too many telescopes, too many independent researchers, and too many amateurs with the ability to verify what's in the sky. Even though the three-eye atlas rumor doesn't hold up, it reflects something true about us. We're desperate to understand our place in the universe. Every time a rock from another star system passes through, it feels like a message, not in language, but in possibility. Each visitor expands our sense of what worlds exist, what materials survive, and how life might begin elsewhere. Taumuamua taught us humility. We saw it too late to learn everything. Borisov taught us patience. The next one will come and we'll be ready. That's how science moves one discovery at a time, verified, transparent, real. So, is there something else out there? Almost certainly. But is there any verified evidence that an interstellar craft, called 3i Atlas or otherwise, is maneuvering through our solar system right now? No. Not in public data, not in peer-reviewed journals, and not in any congressional record. That's not a disappointment, it's an invitation. Because when a real discovery comes, you won't have to rely on rumors or AI-generated headlines. You'll see the raw data, the graphs, the orbit plots, and the scientists debating it live. That's what real science looks like. Curiosity and skepticism aren't opposites, they're partners. Keep both, and the universe will never stop surprising you. If you value truth over hype, 
subscribe and stay curious. Because one day soon, another interstellar visitor will pass our way. And this time, we'll be watching with open eyes and open data.